Alrighty, what's up everybody? Good morning. This is Jonathan here with Boston Collectors and in today's video, is it worth the price? Doctor Strange from the Multiverse of Madness is here on Sideshow for pre-order for $335. Now before we really start diving into what's included and the photos, let's go ahead and go over what we have here in terms of the monthly payments and things of that nature. Now, $335 for a lot of us is a huge chunk of money. And for some of us, you know, who got it like that, it's eh, it's nothing, right? The highest number of payments, we have six. And of course, you can change those monthly payments to the 5th, 10th, 15th, and so on. Now, the NRD is set for $33.50. Also, if you're planning to go through with that payment plan, don't forget to apply it before you check out. I've made the mistake. I'm sure you have. And if you haven't, just don't forget. <laughs> now, the expected to ship date is between July and December of 2023. Shipments are crazy right now. I'm still waiting for three figures, but I digress. Getting back into Doctor Strange. Now, what's in the box? Well, we have one newly developed head sculpt. And we also have one newly developed sculpt of Doctor Strange with a third eye. With that, we also have one pair of fists, one pair of open hands, one accessory holding right hand, as well as five mystic power using hands. Now, as far as the costume, we have one red and blue colored cape. Now, that's going to have a special magnet clip on design. We also have the under tunic. We have the colored tunic. If you have a Doctor Strange figure, you kind of know what you're getting here. There are a lot of layers to his costume, right? Moving on to the accessories here, we have the Book of Ashanti, one pair of handcuffs. We also have one amulet, which is the Eye of Agamotto, two sling rings, nine pieces of mystic artifacts, and a specially designed figure stand with the movie logo and character nameplate. We also have the box sizes and the shipping weight and all that good stuff down below as well. But moving on to the part that we're all excited for, the imagery. Now, if you all weren't up last night over on Facebook, Hot Toys announced this around 11-ish 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I believe. And we also shared that over here on our Instagram. So 10 hours ago, you have the Doctor Strange announcements. And obviously, for those of you who are interested in our thoughts on these figures as they release, don't forget to go ahead and follow us over here on Instagram, and we'll also keep you up to date. Moving back on to Doctor Strange, we already have that first image here in Moving back on over to Doctor Strange, we have awesome accessories going on here. The dragons that he's summoning. We also have the mystic artifacts here as well. The summoning hand that they mentioned as well as it looked like the um, the mystical hands included there also. Now, I also really like the, uh, the cape here. That looks really nice. Very thin. Thick. I don't know if it's going to have wiring in it though. I don't personally own a Doctor Strange figure. I do plan on picking up the Iron Strange though, but that's probably the only one I'll have. The head sculpt look incredible though. I really like that. On their website over in Hong Kong, they mentioned having a new technology that they're using for the, I believe the paint for the hair in the portrait. Now, I don't think that that was mentioned here on Sideshow, but they did mention it on their website overseas. Uncloaked, I think he looks awesome. We've seen this in the trailer. We haven't seen the Multiverse of Madness just yet, but we do plan on seeing it possibly next week. This looks awesome. That portrait is just, wow. If they can make this happen, mass produced, oh my goodness. The hair looks incredible. The portrait is impeccable. Have mercy. That's just, wow. They really outdid themselves with that one. Now, it's interesting because the hair is different. I'm guessing that's a, a movie thing. Um, but I'm not too upset with that because you get two portraits. We also have the book there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that that might have wiring in it. It's very hard to say, right? When you look here, it almost looked that way, but we also have a bit of Photoshop magic going on as well. These dragons look incredible. That looks, wow, really, really nicely done. This figure is, whew, wow. We're going to end up having quite a few Doctor Strange pieces on the market, right? We're also going to touch on that in a bit. Now, looking at the accessories page here, obviously we have two portraits, right? And that was mentioned down below. Now, that's already awesome in itself. You also have the extra accessories here. This is, this is, wow. You got the book, you got the Eye of Agamotto. 
The figure stand, which is typical. Really nice hands as well. A lot of them come in pairs. There's one, a right summoning hand. I can't recall which one that is, but wow, this is, this is looking really, really good. Before we really ask ourselves if the asking price for the Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange is too much, at $335, let's go ahead and check out a couple other figures. Now, we do have Doctor Strange from Spider-Man and No Way Home, and this particular figure is sitting at $315. Granted, we don't have the same amount of accessories here what i think drove this particular price is the led light up base when you look at that in comparison to the multiverse of madness doctor strange you have a lot of additional accessories and you have that extra portrait what i think this is going to end up coming down to is which doctor strange you think is the definitive version to have in your collection do you care for this portrait or do you care for the box and that led light up design what i think think is probably the better choice for an additional 20 bucks i think you should probably go ahead with the multiverse of madness but we all have different collections right you might have more figures coming from the no way home line and maybe you prefer that one and that's totally okay but when you look at this one in comparison you get more for just 20 dollars more you get an extra portrait you get extra mystic art effects you get so much more here than you do here you're just genuinely paying for that LED light up base. You're probably asking, why do I have classic Loki up here? At $285, you have classic Loki with two portraits and a couple accessories. The last time we really had a figure with two portraits was classic Loki. But recently we did have Batman and it depends on if you count this as two portraits. Technically they are, but not in the sense where... They're unmasked portraits like classic Loki and Doctor Strange. Now, Batman was priced at $290. This was announced some time ago. The most recent one here would have to be classic Loki. $285, $335. Are you paying for the hype of Doctor Strange? That's what you got to ask yourself first. Doctor Strange is everywhere right now. Doctor Strange was recently in No Way Home, and now he's in the Multiverse of Madness. I also think it's a little bit of hype. But it's also the new engineering here with the portrait and the hair. They did mention, again, as I mentioned before, having that extra sort of paint job going on in the hair and that portrait. So is it worth the price of $335? Doctor Strange, brand new movie, new announcement. I'm going to have to say yes. This is looking a lot better than the No Way Home Spider-Man. I honestly understand why some people may go for this one. You have the box, you have, this is what kicked off that multiverse. I can understand why people would go for this Doctor Strange, but I think you'd be doing yourself a disservice by passing up on the multiverse of Madness Strange for this one. For just 20 extra dollars, you get a portrait, you get some really cool mystic artifacts. Inflation is a monster right now, and I know $335 isn't just laying around for a lot of us, but... In comparison to what we have right now with Doctor Strange, 20 extra dollars, I, I'm going to have to say, this one is worth the price, y'all. Let us know what you think down below. If you're going to pre-order Doctor Strange, don't forget to hit the link down below and check it out. Feel free to shop wherever you like. We just prefer Sideshow because they're the official distributors for Hot Toys. This is Jonathan with Boston Collectors. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more. We're super close to 1,000 subscribers. Again, this is Jonathan with Boston Collectors, and thank you so much for watching.